but you want me to go back. I think, said Dumbledore, that should you choose to return, there is a chance that he could be finished forever. I cannot promise it, but I know this, Harry. You have far less to fear in returning here than he does. Harry glanced at the raw-looking figure, trembled and choked in the shadows beneath the distant chair. Do not pity the dead, Harry. Pity the living, and above all those who live without love. By returning, you may ensure that fewer souls are maimed and fewer families are torn apart. If this is a worthy goal, then we must say goodbye to each other for the present. Harry nodded and sighed. Leaving this place would not be nearly as hard as walking to the forest had been. But it's so warm and light and peaceful here, and he'd be walking into pain and fear of more loss. Harry stood up and Dumbledore did the same, and for a long moment they stared into each other's faces. Tell me one last thing, Harry said. Is this real, or is this all happening inside my head? Dumbledore beamed to him and smiled and his voice sounded loud and clear in Harry's ears, even though the bright mist was descending and obscuring his figure. Of course it's all happening inside your head, Harry, but why on earth should it mean that it is not real? Thank you.